Hey guys, it's Jack Pumpkinton here, and uh, <laughs> I gotta say, I am sorry for the second week in a row that I have not done a live stream on Friday or Saturday. It's currently Sunday. Um, happy Easter to those who celebrate it, happy Ramadan um, to those who celebrate that, and happy Lent, um, and any other holiday that happens in this time. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but... This is not an unbox, not just an unboxing episode. It's more of like a gear dump slash update slash talk about some things. So I do have unboxings, so I am sorry. It's kind of like two unboxings back to back. Unfortunately, one of my pets died um, over the weekend, which that really sucked. So that along with the holiday and some other things that have kind of gotten in the way, I wasn't able to do a live stream this week. So I apologize. I wanted to get that out of the way before I continue and do an unboxing, but also talk about some really cool pieces of gear that I actually um, I picked up here in Michigan, and they're made in Michigan, and that I think people should check out for more. But first, the unboxing. So, the cool thing about this one is... I haven't really shown you, like, I've, I've shown you guys this guitar on a few occasions, but it's never had its own video, and there's a reason behind that, because it needs work. And the first thing I need was new tuners. These are just some all-part, six-in-line, open-gear tuners. And let me grab it. This is my great grandfather's um, K, I think it's called a Kingston or a Vanguard Model 2, because it has two pickups. This guitar has been through a lot. Um, I've, I've, I've had it for uh, a few years now, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, it has a really unique sound. The wiring is kind of messed up. I can only get the neck pickup to work, but rewiring all this would take so much, um, and I can't find like a replacement. I have to actually figure out something to do with the pickguard, because the pickguard itself is actually, the material is crumbled. As you can see, there's cracks along the pet guard and stuff. I've tried to repair it a few dozen ways. Um, the guitar still works. It just hasn't really been put together. Um, right now, like I said, the neck pickup works, but it needed new tuners because these are the original tuners. And they're, some that are locked up, some are stripped. So it was in an attic for about 20 or 25 years until I got it and just been whenever I can work on it. I have, um, I had it working once, um, but I actually had to use like a um, pliers to tune it because the, they were so messed up. So I actually finally ordered, I just broke down and ordered a pair of vintage style looking tuners that are just cheap all parts tuners that will fit hopefully over, you know, like, uh, the other option would be to drill out all the holes and put in like locking tuner. And I don't really want to do that because this guitar, I mean, it's it's in my family for a long time. It reminds me of Jack White. So once I get that going, um, I will actually do a video for you. I'd like to re get replacement bridge and tailpiece, which you can get. I think they're like 45 bucks. So I might do that too before I do a video on this. But I wanted to show that off day the next actually goes in with the pieces of gear that I have to show you guys box so as you can see this box is messed up pretty bad because it's through UPS or USPS not UPS haha <laughs> and I don't know. I, I, I don't give the mail the mail system in America as much crap as I do as FedEx because most of the time the gear I get is okay even if the boxes are messed up. 
This is a pedal too, and it was not an expensive pedal. Um, oh, cool. Came with an actual little box. Um, Nino pedals, nano pedals, nano pedal, nano pedal assemblies. It's just one of these super cheap pedals that you can get like off of Wish. I got off of Reverb. It was fourteen dollars plus shipping and tax. It's a chorus pedal. I needed a chorus pedal, so it's kind of cool. I like that it has like a switch for deep and then normal. So we'll see how good a fifteen dollar chorus pedal sounds. I actually don't have the seven dollar overdrive pedal anymore. I sold that to a buddy of mine um, who's learning guitar, so and it was his first pedal. So I sold that along with a power supply to him. But yeah, I I picked this up. I was actually going to do a video on like the cheapest um, chorus pedal and the cheapest overdrive pedal into the cheapest tube amp with the cheapest epiphone I could get. But, like I said, I sold it. So, but that's fine. I've got plenty of other videos I have to make. So the next two things are also pedals. And they are awesome. Um... So I, I had, when I got that Flying V, I got in a spare 212 cab, and it was a combo that was made into a cab, and it was a Marshall, and it was, it was okay, I had uh, Crate V-style speakers, so average, you know, standard eminent style speakers, and uh, I didn't need it, <laughs> so I was, I've been trying to get rid of it for like 100 bucks, um, for like the last month. And a guy upstate was like, hey, um, I'll give you this pedal for it. This is, the company is called Enterkin. It's right there. It's made in Lapeer, Michigan, I believe is what I've been told. Um, they're really cool. I love the paint jobs on these. They're really unique looking pedals. Um, he's like, yeah, I've got a delay. I've got a a fuzz, I've got a overdrive, and I've got a phaser. Well, I have a pretty good phaser. I've got my MXR Phase 90. I got to try all of them. And the fuzz was just a Big Muff clone. It was good. It wasn't bad. I just, I have a Big Muff fuzz. So, I needed a new overdrive, though, because I wanted something a little bit nicer than that little $7 one. I got this. And it's it's pretty in stream. Actually, when I have it on my pedal board, I have it sideways so I can fit all of those pedals. Um, this is apparently a clone of a Earthquaker Devices pedal, I think, is what I was told. And it sounds really good. I like that it's got, like, I don't know. A mix. It's just got a lot of options for delay. And this overdrive is pretty cool. It doesn't get, like, crazy. Like, it stays true to, like, an overdrive. It's definitely not, like, a Tube Screamer clone. I have no idea if this might just be its own thing. I don't know if this is a clone of anything. But you've got your level, your drive, tone, and then you have a presence knob. And then you have a clip switch, which I don't know what that exactly does. And an AR switch. Again, I don't know what that does. But I think it's really, really cool looking. I think it's cool that they're made in Michigan. Um, so second and third boutique-y kind of pedals. My first was the the one I, I won in that raffle. So... But um, what happened is we had met up a time and set to drive halfway. And unfortunately, he had booked a studio session in his studio. He was like, could you drive out to me? I'll give you another pedal. And I was like, yeah, I want more pedals. So yeah. So, um, But it was a really nice studio setup. I can't remember the guy's name. And I don't know the name of his studio or else I'd put it in there. But I will definitely put this pedal company because they're still around, I believe. Um, they have an active Facebook page, so. But yeah, uh, I think they're really neat. I love the colors and everything, so. I know it's kind of like a shameless gear dump episode, unboxing. Kind of coffee time with Jack episode. But it's not a live stream, so. Um, I wanted to uh, just kind of do that. I have a I have another piece of equipment. It's actually downstairs, and the handle broke, so I uh, have to figure out a way to get upstairs. It is a two twelve combo. Only it, I got it from a buddy of mine. 
yesterday. It's a Behringer V-type combo or something like that. Um, so that'll be cool. It needs some work. I have to clean it up. But, I mean, for, you know, I only paid 30 bucks. So, anything's, you know, I was like, cool. I messed around with it a little bit last night. One channel works. The other channel, I think it just needs a little cleaning. I could be wrong. But, um, that'll be kind of fun to mess around and show you guys. I don't know if you guys remember Betty White, that Fender Strat. Um, I'm actually going to give that to my dad for Easter. Um, last year, he gave me his Epiphone Les Paul um, classic model and for, for Easter. And I was like freaking out. I was like, what? And it was a really cool guitar. Um, so this year, I wanted to return the favor. He actually already has the body over there because we were working on it. And what I was going to do was actually put the guitar back together once it was refinished and then sell it because it is a good playing strap, but I have a lot of other guitars and I might end up getting more, you know, you never know. Um, so I was like, well, I should give it to my dad. He's a big Fender guy. He has that made in Mexico, uh, sunburst strat I gave him. And he gave me that Epiphone last year, this year. It, technically, it's in parts, but he can put it all together. And this way, he can refinish it any way he wants to. So he's really excited. Um, hopefully, the other big thing that I'm really hoping for soon, and when I say soon, it means this year. It does not mean anytime soon. But hopefully soon this year, we'll have my Explorer fixed. And the humbucker that was in the um both montana and betty white is gonna go in to the explorer it's a nice hot pickup it's a lot like a jb but it's a little bit sweeter sounding i know that's kind of weird to say so i plan on buying maybe like a jazz for the neck or something i don't know um but i i, I want to get that explorer fixed so bad because it's, it's my favorite guitar, honestly. Like, I'm not going to lie. That is my favorite guitar I own. It's just... Uh, sucks to the, the situation it's been through. And I want to make it look nice. So, probably refinish it. And we'll see how everything goes. But, yeah. I don't know. I just... I want to do, like, a an unboxing vlog video. I haven't done one for you while... Um, guys, I, I know I did an unboxing last week of the little PB Nano amp, and that thing is loud. It's very loud. It is basically a Epiphone Valve Junior. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have a great holiday. Thank you for swinging by. Jack Punkington signing up. Peace.